it's Lucy here, Outdoor Learning Officer, and today I'm going to be talking about a certain autumn treasure that we find under a certain tree. The tree I'm talking about is a horse chestnut tree. Now some of you might know what I'm talking about already, but others will know the horse chestnut tree as the conker tree. So today I'm going to be talking about these lovely things here, conkers. So for those of you that don't know it as a horse chestnut tree, here is a few tips of how to identify it when it doesn't have millions upon millions of conkers laying on the ground or on the tree. So first let's talk about their leaves. They are huge. They are called palmate leaves. Palmate meaning that it has more than three veins going from one point. So similar to how our palms have four fingers and one thumb, horse chestnut trees have either five or seven leaves coming from one centre point and then there is the main stalk. So another way to identify horse chestnut trees is by their branches. So if you have a closer look, I've got a close up here to show you. You'll see they have little horseshoe shapes with little nails in them as well. So that is another tip to learn how to identify a horse chestnut tree. Another way to identify horse chestnut trees, if we head to the end of the branch, we look at the bud. So the bud is where the spring leaves will appear. So at the moment it is just a bud and it is red and quite large and it is sticky. So horse chestnut trees have sticky buds. So if you have find a horse chestnut tree and touch the bud at the end you'll notice it's got this sticky resin on it. Now we know a little bit about the horse chestnut tree. Let's start talking about the treasures they produce. Conkers. Conkers are a glossy red brown colour and they are the seed of the horse chestnut tree. They grow in green spiky shells like these and then they drop onto the ground and then the shells often split on the impact of dropping to ground revealing a shiny conker. So I'm going to give you a few ideas and tell you a few different things of what you can do with a conker. The most traditional thing that you can do with a conker is to play the conker game and the idea is to use your conker to split their conker and whoever is left with the conker at the end is the winner so that is the conker game it's definitely worth having a go it's actually a lot trickier than it sounds another use for conkers is to put them in your house and the reason you put them in the house is because apparently spiders hate conkers so then if you put them in your house you won't get spiders in your house this could just be an old wives tale but a lot of people swear by this. Now onto what I have been up to with my conkers. Now, so something we've been doing that children have absolutely adored is having a go at making a conker caterpillar. And it is really good for threading and they are really lovely and they actually keep quite well. So what you'll need is lots and lots of conkers. You will need a glove and a palm drill. So I've got a palm drill, but you could potentially use a screw. So something to make holes in your conkers. And obviously you'll need a glove because you're going to be holding your conkers and putting a tool towards your hands. So you need them. You then will need a bit of wire or some string. And if you want, you can get a pen to decorate your conker caterpillar at the end. And last but not least, you will need some sticks to put into your face of the conker caterpillar so it has little antennae. So first, I'm going to put my glove on and I've got my conkers and what you need to do is get your conker, hold it in your gloved hand using your palm drill you are going to twist and push into your conker so that eventually it goes all the way through like so and then you can pull it off and then we have one conker so now I'm going to quickly do some extra conkers and then I'll show you the next step So I've got my conkers already, they've all got holes in them. So the next step is to get some string or some wire. So get one conker and get the end of your wire and thread the wire through the conker. Now if I was to let go, my conker would fall all the way off the other end. So a tip to make sure that doesn't happen is to get the wire, push it over the top of the conker so it wraps around the conker and then twist the two ends together to hold it in place. And then that will allow it to be a stopper so then I can thread all the rest of the conkers on without them falling off. So now I'm gonna thread them all on really quickly and I'll let you know what the next step is. 
So now I have my conkers all threaded on my wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the wire over onto my last conker and twist it around the wire in the middle between the last one and the second to last one. And then I'm going to chop off the remains of my wire so that I can use it for another one. Now I have my conker caterpillar all in the wire and all wrapped up at the end so it won't fall off. So my caterpillar looks good but it's missing some little antennae. So what I need to do now is using my glove and my palm drill is make two holes where the face is going to be. So decide where the face is going to be. These holes don't need to go all the way through, they just need to go in a little bit. So you push and you twist a little bit and you pull out and then you push and you twist a little bit and then you pull out. Done. So I handy have a stick here that I think will fit and look really good. So what we need to do is push the stick into the hole like so and this is a little bit too long so I'm just going to snap it off. There we go. So we've got one antennae and then I'm going to put the other end into the other hole. And then my caterpillar now has two antennae. So all I'm going to do to finish it is just do some dots for an eye and maybe a little smiley face. My caterpillar is all finished. Why not send us a picture of your stash of conkers that you've been collecting over autumn? Or how about a little picture of a conker caterpillar that you've made? Thank you very much for watching. Stay wild.